Let's take a look at how we can use cost codes in estimating to give ourselves a better breakdown. Um, so let's go to an estimate here, and we'll notice that now we have the ability over on the input fields on the right to set cost codes by line item. Um, and we can see in the display area, I've turned on the display for cost codes. We have cost codes set for our, our different types of material. Um, but we notice here that we're missing um, some information. So if I click on a line item, I can certainly come in here and set that cost code on a line by line basis. That's helpful when you're doing a manual takeoff. When you're coming through your input fields, you can just set the cost codes as you go. Um, or if you have them set in shapes, grades, and sizes, they can automatically be added based on a material type. Um, or more useful, we can select a group, we can go to our global edit selected, and we can update the cost code in mass so that we have all those braces set with the same cost code. Um, and ultimately, this is about breaking down your estimate. So when we get to the final result, that summary to Excel, uh, your materials section on that report, that final report will be broken down by the different cost codes you set in the estimate. So you'll have a total weight on columns or beams. Now I chose to make columns and beams cost codes. Estimators may choose to do it a different way. Uh, but it just shows that you get a better breakdown of your estimate. And the goal is to make your estimate as close to how accounting would run a real project through the job. So they have a one-to-one -one comparison on material costs. Um, just creating transparency down the line for, for a project's that, project that's being run through the shop.